Sometimes the fastest and easiest way to get in touch with a lead is to simply give them the opportunity to start a discussion with you. And for that, live chats are more than a suitable tool. Whether you plan to use them as a support or sales tool, we will see together how to set them up on your portal. Actually, the implementation is really similar to the meeting tool we already saw on those videos. And all things related to chat, so live chats and chatbots are grouped under the term chat flow under the conversation tab. So just click here and you are ready to create your first live chat. To do so, you just need to click on create chat flow. Choose if you want a messenger chat flow or a website chat flow. Let's say a website for this example. And you will select live chat here. You click on next. You will choose the inbox you want them to appear. Per default, you only have one inbox named inbox and you select the language of the live chat. You click on create and that's it. Now you are ready to personalize it a bit more. So you can change the first message that will appear every time someone opens the chat. You will be able to connect your knowledge base on this live chat, but we haven't see this feature yet so we will come back to it later you can automatically assign the new conversation to a specific user or a specific team and you can choose the message that will connect the email address to make sure it creates a lead when someone enters a message. So you can choose if it will be Im immediately after first message is sent, if no team member responds after one minute, or you can just don't ask for email address, that's a possibility as well. And you can change the text here, of course. Once you're ready, you click on save and now it's time to choose the target. The target is which pages the chat widget will appear on. You can add rules, let, let's say I want the live chat to appear only on pages that contains pricing and I don't want this live chat to appear on my blog. So I just add it here that way. So when we look at that, it will appear only on pricing page and not on blog. Actually, if we just want to exclude blog, we can just do that and it will work the same way. You can also filter which visitor will see the live chat based on certain criteria such as if they belong to a list, their device type, their browser language, the country they are in, uh, the CTA they clicked on, etc, etc. You can create like several uh, groups to play with and 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 or rules and you can add several filter groups to make your segmenting more precise. Once you're happy, click on save and you can modify the display. So you can change the, the face of people that will show here and you will be able to choose the display behavior based on the device someone is using with exit intent, time on page, percentage of page, etc, etc. And the last thing you need to do is just to play with different options based on data, privacy and consent to choose if the contact will be a marketing contact or not. We will see what is a marketing contact in of next video and you can even create like surveys if you're using service hub to know the feedback of each visitor after a chat. Once it's finished you can just give it a name, click on preview to try it, restart if needed etc. And once you're happy with it you can just like close it and turn it on. And that's it, you have your first chat flow on HubSpot. If you click on create chat flow, you can see that we can create bots, chat bots. So basically a live chat that doesn't need any user to take action on it. With this chatbot, we can do a lot of different things. And if you're interested in see a good example, a few months ago, I post a video on how to create a fully automated qualification process based on a chatbot. I will put the link on the top right corner of this video. And now that we saw how to create a live chat, let's see how to interact with this live chat. Just a quick break to inform you that this video is part of a free training focusing on how to set up your hotspot portal in the most efficient way possible. This free training will be divided into seven big modules, each addressing a specific key point of your hotspot portal. And each module consists into several videos that will go deeper into a specific functionality or feature of your hotspot portal. If it's not already the case when you watch this video, the videos in this series will be published gradually and they will be added to this specific playlist. I have also prepared a private web 
page, bringing together all the different content of this free training and some additional bonus content. So to benefit of this free content and to be notified for every new chapter that is releasing, I invite you to click on the link in the description below. So to be able to see the conversation of a live chat, we just need to go to conversation, inbox. And so here is the inbox tab. First thing, if you want to be able to communicate with your visitors, just say you're working, you're available. And then you will have all the different historic of open conversation or closed conversation if you already like finished to talk with this specific lead. For each different conversation, you will see if they are unassigned, assigned to you. If you set up your chat flow, well, it will be assigned to someone. All the currently open conversation, all the conversation that come from the chat, etc, etc. So let's say we take a random conversation and we have this historic. So here you will receive all your new messages and you can directly interact with them here. They will reply, etc, etc. And you can use AI to make your answer better or to make it like a bit longer or shorter, etc, etc. You can send it, he will reply, etc. Another good thing to do is to be able to insert every other marketing assets we have in our portal. So we can find the meeting, the documents and the snippet we already mentioned in previous videos. And you can create comments for your team. Let's say this lead need to get a callback and click on add comment. So all the people will be able to see the comment you put on this conversation, but not the visitor. Once you finish a conversation, you can click on close conversation and it will appear on the close tab. Once you're finished working on your conversations, you can click on I'm a ways to don't give fake hopes to visitors that want to connect with someone. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up to subscribe to this channel and to save this playlist to make sure you don't miss any new chapter of this free training. And don't forget the link in the description below that gives you this free access to all the contents of this free training plus more additional content on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. For those who are discovering me through this video, I'm Grégoire, a spot expert for more than seven years now, and I will see you very soon for more Uspot tips.